Welcome back to Living in Wait. We've been talking all month about the three eyes of building retirement. In today's renovating retirement segment, we are talking about the second eye. We bring in Charlie Jewett. That second eye is income. Income. Tell me about it. Well, it's the one word definition for why we even save for retirement. There's a time that comes where you stop working and don't have income. And so you go into 30, 40 years of, of really unemployment, right? The issue with income in the industry is that uh, I always ask people, are you still with your pediatrician? <laughs> and they do that. They kind of laugh and say, why aren't you with your pediatrician? They say, well, we outgrew them. But what people do is they stay with a growth focused advisor when it becomes time to retire. Mm -hmm. And they don't have the tools to do income the way we need it done. As a matter of okay. fact, it's like the income's so low and it's so risky. So the income strategies that we teach usually can increase somebody's income 30, 40 percent and have less risk. So it's really important stuff. Okay, so after deciding the type of lifestyle that you want to have, how is it uh, building a nest egg? How do you do that? So the nest egg you build up while you're working. You, you take streams of money that you're making and you put them away to hopefully build up a chunk, right? And then you retire and you have this chunk and what do you have to do? We got to turn it back into streams, right? Okay. So the three types of money are the three I's. In case income increase, the income piece is solved for. It's actually very mathematical. We go, what are you spending? So how do you know what you're spending? You look at 12 months of bank statements, add up the withdrawals, have a little heart attack, get back <laughs> up and go, oh my God, it cost me $9,000 a month to live, right? That's a lot of ramen, but you spend it, right? And you go, how much am I spending? And then you say, what, what are the sources of income that I do have? Social Security comes every month. Mm -hmm. They might have pensions. They might have annuities they purchase. They might have rentals. You just want to add up, you know, your expenses and your income. And if there's no delta, I mean, if, if you're making more money than you spend, then pat yourself on the back and go, I don't need an income account. It's all taken care of. That's not the norm. Most people, they need that chunk of money to give them an income for the rest of their life. And we don't know how long we're going to live, don't know what inflation is, don't know what taxes are going to be. So we, we got to get it spot on and get the most income possible. If he sounds like he knows what he's talking about, it's because he knows what he's talking <laughs> about. And if somebody at home wants to know more about a financial plan, how can they do that? Well, what we did was set up a way for people to take charge instead of taking advice. So they just go to renovatemyplan.com, go right in there, renovatemyplan.com, and have one piece of paper and a pen. And we'll show you, there's videos that'll walk people through building the best retirement plan in the country. Can't be beat by any of these 80 page, you know, pie charts and everything that you get from your joker broker. <laughs> Just go in there, build your architectural blueprints for what you want life to be like way before talking about what investments or what products. Uh, the people will feel very empowered to go build their plan there. What do you say to the person that is listening right now and is just overwhelmed with what it takes to get something like this done. What do you say to them? Uh, somebody told me one time if you, I used to do a lot of fishing and you can go like this and it turns into a bird's nest. There's a huge knot, like okay. a lot. How do you untie, you know, something that's a lot of knots? You go one knot at a time. Okay. So how do you simplify this mess that is, I need to cover myself if I have a long life, short life, rough life, sick life, and into the next life, just one step at a time. The very first place to begin, like laying a foundation for a building, you have to start there. Mm -hmm. The first place to begin is how much money do I have? And then look at the three types of money. These videos we've made at renovateyourplan.com. In case income increase, how much goes in each? So if you have a million bucks, we're trying to decide how much of it goes into the three types. Forget product, forget 40,000 stocks, 9,000 mutual funds, what advisor to use, mm -hmm. all that. Start with what you want your life to be like and how much money should be in each type. Uh, and the videos will walk people through that without a salesman breathing down your neck. You just sit in the comfort of your own home. Rewind it, do it again, do it five times, do it with your friends, get a bottle of wine, do it with your friends, make it a party. <laughs> Charlie, thank you so much. Uh, call the guy, visit their website. Appreciate you being here. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you. All right, much more on Living It Wait when we return.